Come here, chicken. Oh, you're such a good chicken. Oh. Wait, no, you come here, chicken. Come here. Do I have your map? Yes, I do. Get in the water, chicken. Oh, you can't swim. You drown. And now you're magically over here through the power of your black voodoo magic. There you go. I can constantly drown you and you won't actually die. Don't you love being immortal? Don't you love the fact that game designers wanted to make chickens the strongest deity in all of... of not deity. Uh, entity in all of I Okami. Yeah. You must love them for that. Yeah. Got in the water there, dear. I don't know. I don't know when I started switching in my Wisconsin accent. I didn't even know I, I had a Wisconsin accent. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Okami. Last episode, we entered and explored the new area, Kusa Village, which was also under the influence of evil. Although it wasn't exactly a curse zone, it was very strange. We couldn't use our ink, but we didn't die either. So. We were able to explore this area, except we would have to be a regular wolf. But we encountered the Princess Fusei, who is right up here, and she had been possessed by a demon. So, she had been protecting this village, but when she was possessed, the protection left, and the evil uh, flooded this village. So, after defeating the demon, we were able to rid the, the village of the evil. However, Things aren't quite nice and dandy yet. You can see the sky here. It just turned morning, and the sky is dark. Also, you can see the parchment effect here. But the sky was dark, so the evil is still around. It's just not in the village right now. So we need to track down... <laughs> get it? Track the canine warriors, because they are gone. And apparently we need them in order to dispel the evil entirely. In order to get to the Crimson Helm, the bad guy bad guy. Yes, the bad guy who is causing all of this evil. So we're going to be lo looking for them this episode. Also, I missed uh, the floral finisher on that demon that we encountered yes, not yesterday, sorry, last episode. That was a blue demon by the way. I didn't want to say it because I wasn't able to do the floral finisher, but I missed five floral finishers last episode, and while I talk I'm going to get these chests and this in this pond. So I missed five floral finishers, and I was really bummed out. So I decided, I was thinking, hey, maybe I should, in between episodes, I should go back to the save point that I had at the beginning of last episode and redo everything, except this time I wouldn't talk to, um, what's his name? Uh, the pothead guy, Camuso, or whatever. I wouldn't talk to him and thus not miss those f three floral finishers of the five. I was like, ugh, I don't want to do that. But I decided to, at the in the end to look up the percentage of floral finishers I had to get in order to get the reward that I'd mentioned previously. And actually, I was dead wrong about how that system worked. It's you you are not rewarded based on the percentage of floral finishers you get of all the of all the floral finishers that are possible for you to get. But, you are rated instead on how many demon fangs you collect. Not on how many floral finishers you miss or, or achieve. So, I can miss as many floral finishers as I want, as long as I achieve the number of demon fangs required to, for me to get that reward. So, I can miss a bunch and just make that up later, so that's fine. I'm, st I'm not going to be trying to miss them or, or just ignore them entirely till the end of the game, because that's just ridiculous. But if I miss them, miss one, it's not the end of the world because it doesn't affect a percentage. It just means I have to do one or two more battles to make up for it. So that's actually really, really good. I'm really glad that I found that out. And I'm really sorry that I actually didn't know that in the first place. I I'm sorry that I didn't look that up. I should have. I don't know why I didn't, but I, I ended up not doing it. But suffice it to say, and... At the risk of kind of spoil, spoil, spoilerizing things, that's a very tough word. I'm going to just tell you that we need 300 or more demon fangs in order to get the reward that I had mentioned. 
So, over the course of this game, I'm going to be trying to achieve that. It's not that hard. Really, you don't have to, like, grind for them at the end of the game, but, you know, I will be trying to get them. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and progress, because we have five canines to find this episode, plus we have two stray beads to collect. In fact, this area over here that I've been hovering over, because I've been waiting for myself to end the tangent that I'd gotten myself onto, because apparently I have multiple personalities that... Anyway, I was... <laughs> wow, that was a serious... That was a serious speech failure. I, I severely apologize. It's been a while since I've recorded. Driving school, finishing up, kind of got me. But anyway, ugh, wow, that was a horrible speech error. But anyway, we have a stray bead right here. Let me show you on the map. It's right here to the left of Princess Fusei's house. So what we want to do is dig it up. You can kind of barely see it during the day. You have to get it from a very specific angle in order to see the handle, but if you do that, you can see it and dig it up. Or you can just look at this video and see the placement and it doesn't matter if you see it or not. Or you could just wait till nighttime, which is actually the easiest way because there's a light above it. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and go into Princess Fusei's house. Okay. Wow. This is just begging for Power Slash. There we go. Money and food, which I don't care about food. I just care about money. Fusei. Oh, you're that wolf I gave the canine tracker. Have you located the canine warriors yet? I sense five of them here in this, in this village. They are a temperamental bunch and don't take kindly to strangers. But they should return to me once they see the canine tracker. The canine tracker will guide you in their direction. Please use it along with your strength to find them. I fear they've may they may have been injured, or even worse. Please, find the canine warriors. Our fate is in your hands. Well, no pressure at all. So, I do not- man, I do not like how dark it is in this village. I cannot wait till we restore it. I, I for some reason, don't like it to be nighttime in Okami. At least when I'm recording. Sometimes I like it, but on a whole, I just don't like nighttime for some reason. Because I, I guess I just prefer to see this area in its full glory. So, anyway, we I'm going to actually be... Whoa. Oh, I, I accidentally used uh, Fleetfoot. Move, Ami. Thank you. So, I'm actually going to be going to the beginning of the village to start from there. Because we weren't able to restore anything last episode because we had no access to our ink. We were only able to talk to people. So, I'm going to be going through this area as if it were my first time. Not really. But we're going to be going at it from the start to the end okay so this this grass that the little girl wanted to have turned into flowers is our first objective we just have to use bloom on this and the canine tracker is actually pointing us to this so once we re re bleh, once we restore this we'll also restore a dog which is extremely queer and i don't get why a dog would spawn from grass what's this dog doing here Hmm? I think he's trying to say something. Let me listen carefully. I can understand some animals. It's wagging its tail. Bet it's that canine tracker you got there. Hmm? What's that? Give me some food. I'm hungry. Sheesh. We just met and it's begging for food? What terrible manners. So, we actually have to feed every one of these dogs meat. So let's go ahead and do that. And as an added bonus, we get praise from it. So it's an yet another required thing for the story that that needs pray or that gives praise. I am full. My master, Princess Fusei, has summoned me. However, I didn't want to go straight home. Hear that, Ami? That means this dog's one of the Saitomi Kirin of course it is. The canine tracker. Isun, kinda you read between the lines, buddy. Read between the lines. Shin. Now that my stomach is full, I will return to my master. You hear that, Ami? Yes, I do. I'm here as well. In this part, Isun just seems a tiny bit thick. Like, he just doesn't really seem to notice what's going on. I mean, obviously, it's a canine warrior. Because that's what the tracker's pointing us to. I just don't really get it. The way Princess Fusei talked about them, I thought they were human. You think these flea bags are going to be any help? I don't know. Time will tell. Let's go ahead and talk to that little girl, because maybe she'll give us praise or be happy. They're out! They're out! The flowers are out! I gave them water every day, you, uh, every day, you know. 
I'll keep on watering them too, for as long as it takes. Yay! We we did it. Good job, little girl. Keep watering them. Maybe you'll be able to eat them. <laughs> uh, let's read the sign. Please water the flowers. Looks like a child's writing. Wonder if that kid wrote it. Pro no, actually. Because it's too high up for her to reach. So another kid that is six feet tall must have written it. Okay, let's go ahead and go over here. We can we can talk to these people, but we've already talked to them before. I just want to get this guy's food. There we go. Because I kind of want food. I want... Oh, pig. No, actually, no. I'm going to be feeding all these animals in the end slate because otherwise I'd just be constantly stopping and my, starting my speech, and I don't want to be doing that. So I will feed these at the end. All right, so let's go ahead and go this way. Because while the canine tracker isn't really directly pointing us this way, I know where we need to go, so we don't actually really need to listen to the canine tracker. It's kind of useless if you've played this game before. Come on. Clover. Clover. There we go. Okay, so where we want to go next is up near Pothead. I constantly forget his name. I might I might just have to check real quick. And we can get this Clover. And now the canine try canine tra Ugh. Now the canine tracker, wow, that was horrible, is pointing us where we need to go. First, I want to talk to that guy. Kamusa, okay. The evil curse may be gone, but this place still lacks life. The shrine to the divine wind that protected this village is dead. Why is... How can a shrine be dead? I don't know. Okay, so where we want to go is in this wall, which we've seen from the very beginning, but we can only go into until now. We couldn't go into it until now. I don't know why my speech is being so stuttery. It's like <laughs> it's like Skyward Sword uh, Skyward Sword episode 20 all over again. <laughs> okay, so in these caves with where the dogs are, the game will actually pretty much give you feedbacks to use in case you don't have any. Just go ahead and power slash these pots and usually you'll get at least one and we do. And the cool thing is is once we feed this dog, which we don't actually have to listen to it to feed it, we can get the feedback again because all the pots will respawn. Game, don't prove me wrong. Don't prove me There we go, okay. So yeah, we can probably get the feedbacks again, which is really nice, and it gives us food for where, for the few dogs that aren't in the caves. I am full. Canine Warrior, Ray. Now that my stomach's full, I will return to my master. Hear that, Ami? Yes, we did. He soon. See, Isun just seems a little bit thick. He doesn't really seem to have any other text than this. He just says, can you believe these guys every single time? And I don't really get why they didn't write more text for, for this. Like, it just seems very low budget. Not low budget, because this, this idea is still pretty good. But it seems like they didn't really put much effort into it. I mean, it wouldn't be hard to write the programming for either. What you would just do is basically make it so every time you talk to a dog after talking to the first one, there's different text. So, like, there's different text for time you talk to a dog, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know, like that. It's not that hard, but for some reason the game designers didn't do it that way. So, anyway, down by Mr. Bamboo's house, the next place we want to go, this quote unquote map transition is actually. A canine warrior! Somehow it got inside the segmented bamboo. I have no idea how it did that. What's a dog doing here? My thoughts exactly. It's wagging its tail too. Must be that can- Yes, we know. Give me some food. I'm hungry. This one's name is Chi, so let's go ahead and skip past this text and feed them. And Chi will give us ten more praise and go to his master or her. It looks like a her. Canine Warrior, Chi. Now, they say the exact same thing, for, so for the first time in the LP, I'm actually probably going to be using the skip command to get past this text. I don't really want to abuse this, but because they're all saying the exact same things, I feel like it's sort of necessary to keep the flow of the episode going. So let me go ahead and Fleetfoot in here, because while I did say last episode that there's nothing in here, I was actually dead wrong. There's something in here, and what's worse... I could have gotten it last episode, even though I didn't have any ink. So let's go ahead and go in there. So, inside, there is some food, some bamboo shoots, 
And they actually, they, they feed the Astro Pouch a good deal, so you want to get these, definitely. And inside here is a place where you can actually dig up another one. So let me go ahead and do that. Give, got another one, there we go. But, there's one more thing in here besides food, and it's the reason why I came in here in the first place. It is a chest, a buried chest, that actually, big oops on my part, it contains a stray bead. Nothing in here indeed. So we just stole his life savings, apparently. Let's go ahead and leave now that we have the second stray bead of the area. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and let's see. There's one more place where there is a canine, because we've gotten four by now, right? Let's see, we got the one over here. We got the one in that one cave. We got the one just now in the bamboo shoots. Okay, so this is number four. Okay, so where it is, where the last one is, well, not the last one, but you'll see what I mean. Sort of the last one, not really. Spoilers is over here, you just want to Kona Hana Blossom up onto this platform and go in this cave. And run to the end of the very, very long cave that isn't actually on the map. Look how far we're going away from the area. Like, look at this. Look how far off I am. Why didn't they make a, a uh, map area for this? I don't know. Okay, let me go. Maybe because it's, oh, it's because it's secret and they didn't want to sh just show it to me. That's why. Okay. Good on you, designers. That makes sense. And we got a feed bag. So let me go ahead and feed, feed this dog. And ten praise. And I can skip past this text. Uh, actually, no. I'm not going to skip past this because this has some some uh, significance. Co. Now that my stomach's full. Yeah, we know that. We know that. Go ahead and run. But also, can you believe these guys? Hey, Ami. How many of these canine trackers does this make? Four. Maybe we should go talk to Princess Fuse now. So, even though she did say five, Isun is just like, uh, we got, we're good enough. We can leave now. We did, we did sort of good. We sort of did what she wanted. So, we're actually going to do just that. We're going to head back. However, I want to see what's over here, because I'm curious. Up on this scaffolding, over here. Uh huh. Oh, no. Uh, there was a good thing over there. Okay, I'll be right back up onto that, that ledge. Be right back. Ah! There we go. After falling down yet another time, we can go over here and get the contents of that chest. Hopefully, without falling again. Okay, let's go slowly. Go at walking speed. There's another chest over there, but we can't get to that yet. And inside this is or are glass beads. It should be is, because it's technically one item, so I guess I'll say is glass beads, even though that feels horribly wrong. Do it! Okay, let me go ahead and go over here, to here, and then let me vine over this way, and then let me jump over to the hill. There we go, that's how you do it. And then we can go back to Princess Fusei's house, which actually, the canine tracker is leading us back there, because there is a dog that we haven't talked to before right in front of the building. Hey, Ami. That flea bag's giving you the evil eye. He only has one evil eye. I think it noticed the ca that canine tracker you got there. Hmm? What's that? My master, Princess Fusei, has summoned me. But first, I wish to try out the skills I've honed on my journey. You hear that, Ami? Princess Fusei forbids me to join in fruitless battles. But I want you, you to prove your right to bear the canine tracker. Why, you... You got a lot of nerve picking a fight with us. Well, bring it on, you flea bag. Right, Furball? Pick a fight? You bet yes. Yep, there's only one right answer. I don't know who this flea bag thinks he is, but he's in for a surprise. So, starting off this battle with, as we know his name, Flea Bag. Let's go ahead and make a lot of use of our of our sub rosary because he has a lot of quick attacks that cover a lot of range because he can really cl cover the distance between you so what I want to do is just make use of that now also in case you want to use the uh, the wall to escape one of his attacks 
you should not go to the left or right, as you can see here, because there are rocks. Uh, let me go ahead and fleet foot over here. And also, this attack, do not think you're out of the range since it covers, like, the entire area. Uh, let me go ahead and, and attack him and power slash. And let me go ahead and use my... I don't have one, okay. I thought I had maybe an exorcism slip yet left, but I don't. Okay, let me go and shoot this guy. Whoa, whoa, that was close. I haven't gotten hit yet, which is cool. Uh, let me remember to use Flea Foot. Oh, never Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was bad. One more hit, and I've lost all my godhood. Uh, let me go ahead and move over here and do this. Let me go ahead and hit him. Okay, shoot. Uh, he's going to do a charge attack. I can't see him. Okay. This attack, if you just keep running, you should be good. But what you can do is just attack and stay on the hit and run and finish him off. There, he has no power slasher. Power slasher. But I feel like power slashing him in midair anyway. And you'll get a ton of money from that. Ooh, but that was a bad... How did I get bad on time? I did amazing in that battle. That just makes no sense. Huh. <sighs> Game, you don't have to be that strict. A worthy opponent, I see. Let us fight where we have more room. Hear that, Ami? Sounds like fun. This time we'll be playing for keeps. Bring it on, you! F bring it on, flea bag. You're gonna wish you went straight back to Princess Fuse when we're done with you. Hey, wait. If she's been summoned by the princess, then maybe this is another one of the Satomi Kenna. You see what I mean? How can Isun be this dense right now? Of course it is. <sighs> Canine Warrior, Tay, I am done toying with you. Now you sh shall feel the wrath of the Satomi Power Orb. It sounds like a Dragon Ball Z attack, which makes sense because we're, I'm giving him the voice of Vegeta. Bah, bring it on, dog breath. We ain't afraid. Oh, Tay, I thought I heard something. I thought I heard something out here. You two aren't fighting, are you? Huh? Fighting? Oh, uh, of course not. Just some friendly wrestling. Look, not a scratch on either of us. Literally, I didn't take any damage, which I'm proud of that. Well, at least now we... I... 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 I <laughs> Sorry. Well, at least now we have five of the Satomi power orbs. But you've been naughty doggies. Why did you not come home immediately when I summoned you? Hey, princess, what's with those Satomi power orbs? Each Satomi canine warrior bears an orb of a different virtue. The Saitomi Power Orbs are the Saitomi House's greatest treasure. I need the orb's power to break the Crimson Helm's barrier. But the Canine Warriors never listen when I summon them back. And three of them have yet to be accounted for. I fear something may have happened to them. But there is no one I could send out to help them. Hey, what's with that look, lady? Okay, okay. We'll find the rest of them, too. After all... I said we'd get them all back without a scratch. Wonderful. I'll be forever grateful. And that's just what Isun wants. A woman be forever grateful to him. I know the general locations of the remaining three canine warriors. I shall mark them on your map. Okay, there's one in... Let's see, where is that? Uh, Kamiki, definitely. That's Kamiki. Up to the north. There's one in... Kusa? No, not in Kusa. It's up to the north, okay. And then there is yet another one in Agata Forest. So all the major areas we've been to thus far, plus a new one. You have the canine tracker. They, sh they shall return here once you have shown it to them. That is, if they have not been injured, or even worse. You said that earlier. Please hurry. We must get the power orbs and break the barrier. Next... Next time on Dragon Ball Z. We will do that. We'll go to... We'll probably start with Kamiki Village because that was the first area and we haven't been to there in the, lo in the longest time of the three. Except the one we haven't been to at all because we haven't been to it. But it's in the future, so it's even less time. So, we're going to be doing that next episode. But for now, I'm going to be ending it off here. And also, I'm going to be feeding all the animals I see. So... I'll go ahead and do that. See you guys next time. For, oh, also, I, I release new episodes of, of Okami. Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes. And...
if you like this episode, go ahead and comment. I'm trying to build the viewer base, and you, your guys' comments really help with that. So, I'll see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Okami.